I just look oh, you say I just bum got hustler. that. Bum hustler. I where did you when did you start saying that? I feel like you've always when said it. I called you bum hustler that one. That time, first time know. that's what started it? Really? Yeah. Huh. Because I thought the way you said it to me, and then a couple times after that, I, I I was hard to tell if it was a like a joke or if you had just come up with that. Nah. Okay. That's funny. Nah, I like just saying shit and then acting like I've always said it. It's very fun. Yeah. Who had yeah, gaslighting? Ah. Uh, Don't. I think it's like creative mm. writing. I would just mean like using it with familiarity, not necessarily like saying something and then being like, oh, I've always said this. Though on occasion, that is also fun if I know the person very well. How well do you know me? All right, this is bad. My immediate response was to just start gaslighting you and be like, this is the first time we've met. Who are you? Why? I should maybe stop the gaslighting bit. I think it's getting a bit too deep. <laughs> are you worried someone's not going to catch yes. on? Yes. It's funny. Maybe I should start announcing I'm going to gaslight someone and then do it. That lacks pros. Yeah, but that's funny. Sure. Anything's funny in a vacuum. Saying, I'm gonna gaslight you. And then when they ask what, go, I didn't say anything. <laughs> that's, that's oddly one-dimensional for you, I think. What is? That joke. I think that's too linear for your, uh, style. What joke? You what about cunt. squeaking? You know... My uncle does this thing to my mom a lot, and, and she fucking hates it, so um, whenever we mention, oh, I'm going to go get a hearing test, it usually comes up over the phone, not really in person because we don't live with each other so much anymore, and my uncle always go, huh? I'm going to get a hearing test. What? I said I'm getting a hearing test. How? Huh? And we, she just start yelling more, and then he, by the end of the phone call, he's fucking screaming. He's like, oh, fuck you. And I feel like that is, like, scary, scarily similar to what just happened. Like, I, I did not notice it, despite the fact that, that all of it was right there in front of me. So for me to make the joke that it's too one-dimensional, like, oh, that's, nobody's gonna not get that, Shen. That shit kind of sucks that, that that happened in real time. You know? Wait, hold like on. It, Wait, hold on. Who? Okay. No, who would you said you'd I missed a part of the conversation. Your mom My mom and my uncle. They they have this all back and forth. When one of them says they're gonna go get a hearing oh, test okay. done, the other one would go, What? Huh? Come again? Okay. And they would just make it repeat it till they were fucking yelling at. Okay. So <laughs> never mind, it's mean. Zay, do the recap. <laughs> All right, there you Hi, go. Hi, Sentai. Hi, buddy. Oh, right, How are you doing, buddy? Mm -hmm. Right now, you Oh, wait, did you do it last? Wait, you did it last time, didn't you? I, 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 I maybe. Oh, I did it last time. Oh, okay. Zay did it so the time before and the time before uh, that. Okay, yeah. Jackson, you do it then. Well, I guess I would want a little bit of an alley-oop on where we started, because I am blending a couple of the sessions together. But I know the, the major thing that happened was we got into a tussle. We were in Town Square when it happened. I fucking... I, I remember the, one of the first steps of combat that we ran into was because Sansek clocked us pretty early. And instead of me choosing to be stealthy... I like, we, we kind of just like positioned ourselves like, all right, you get on the north side, you get on the west side, I'll stay right here. 
I'll go that way. You go some other way. We're all about. Fucking, you start like circling them like the Pinkertons. Uh, POV, you know. Sansac has a new box of March of Madness, the re the aftermath. That's what it is. And I fucking, I think my first roll was a nat 20 and I fucking hiked him between the eyes and it, it really hurt him. And there was a lot, I'll be honest, there's a couple things I missed because Shen had like six surprise attack folks show up, like the drow woman, the drow woman's uh, dwarf friend, or sorry, gnome friend, I can't remember which of the two. And he oh, had so a big old, was it, oh, it was a dwarf and a gnome? Okay, and he had like a, he had a, 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 a pixel or whatever they call it in Minecraft where the modded game where you can have like a shovel and axe and a pickaxe, you know what I'm talking about? A, a Paxel, I think they call it. And yeah, that happened. I, uh, I, I about cleaved him in half also. He was uh, very quickly changing his direction. You know, he's like, oh, you know what? I forgot something at home, fuck this. And so both him and her being the drow lady skedaddled stage right we attempted to follow them but they, they i mean they were gone i mean that was a straight as the crow flies beeline off normandy beach we had a fella on the stage i don't remember his name but i believe he was a water elf because i remember i made a joke about water gnomes and he's like how dare you water dwarves killed my mother or something stupid i don't remember and you know, he's always whining about his fucking family lineage. Oh, oh, i'm less my kind fucking whatever he was playing think that happened in my mind, it did, because I fell asleep for a couple <laughs> minutes. Well, don't put it in the recap. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Avatar, the musings of a dementia patient, and you have to distinguish what is real and what is fiction in the fiction story. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I think the major thing that happened was uh, Sansac started the ritual, or rather the guy up front, the, the water elf started the ritual, all of the the mummies or whatever they're called, the guards, we'll say, because I don't know what their race is. The construct boys uh, in a big ass circle were not able to react or control the situation in town square. We have no idea what Ifotev was doing for most of that, probably, you know, wrangling the rest of the town as chaos ensued. And the, um, what is it, the Niflheims? What were the name of the big boys who set this up to try and get the, the town power back? I know it's not Niflheim. I just it starts with an N, and I, I can't remember who they're called. That organization. It's not of, start with an N. Well, hang on now. Don't now that I know that. Don't tell me. Um, is the folks who were not necessarily pirates, but they're an organized crime syndicate or whatever that that are, they are that not are, a crime syndicate. Listen, brother. I'm I'm trying my best here. <laughs> okay. Are, they are just sailors. Really. So when I said they're not pirates, they're organized crime. Actually, you got that backwards. They are pi pirates. They're not fucking... It's funny. What's their group called, though? The Neodiniums? No, that's magnets. Do you want me to answer this time? I do. The Hudagoyans. The fucking Hudagoyans. There's an N in there somewhere. So the Hudagoyans put Sansac in... Uh, yeah. That's like saying there's an A in Shinsaya. Am I wrong? But you said there was an A at the start. Listen, dyslexia works in a funny way. Carfax. Not the fucking Carfax, you, sorry. Why are you bringing up dicks again, dude? It's so weird. And I think it's weird that you keep mentioning it. I can can you I live? keep mentioning it. I'm just I, pointing it out. Bro, one of us is mentioning it. Continue one of the us recap. It, Continue the recap. Continue sure. the recap. So, uh, I believe after it was all said and done with uh, almost entirely fatally wounding Sansek and then ultimately killing him, I think we killed him. I, I think we were confirmed. No, because we knocked him unconscious and we fucking strung him over his back or whatever. I don't remember if Zay killed him or not. And then we had the kid. The kid did not die at all. Um, I'm trying to remember his name. Sicily? No. Uh, um... Fuck, whatever. The perv kid. Uh, they lived. The water elf exited stage left. Also, there was a couple other goons and guards and stuff, but, you know, we, we kicked ass. I remember Shen commenting, damn, your rolls really fucked up everything that I had, because you had multi-attack, 
you had a couple of big hitting things. The fact that the major guard that Sansak employed uh, couldn't harm Zay because of her character's attack class, so that kind of fucked up everything. <laughs> and that, that made it a very short uh, rotation of combat, which was funny. Um, I'm noticing that Riku's little character is on dick and balls as if it, it was the Paramount guy fishing. You know, like the DreamWorks guy fishing on the moon. That's kind of what that looks like. That's pretty funny. I don't that know why that... accidental. That's pretty good, though. I like that. Well, what's, uh... I can't move it either, because I, I don't have that, uh, I don't have that right. Who gives you the right? I believe that was everything, other than the obvious post-combat, you know, the spell or the ritual no longer happening. We found Evota with Sansex body and the kid hanging about. Told her about the runes. We gave some more specific information. I believe we attempted to go around and remove the sigils to, to like stop the ritual. I think that was our, sort of our last conquest. Uh, I don't know if we ran into the warlock lady again. I know she came up in conversation. And the plan was to figure out what else we want to do on this island before shoving off and trying to find Granny Ragscale, who could help us further inquire as to what is going on with the Rod of Shade Tide. Uh, Auntie Nettle Catch. Nettle Catch, because Ragscales is the lady we already talked to. Fuck yeah. Okay. Well, not bad. I think I got most of it. Not the Niffle Helms. It's a good one, I'll remember that. Niflheim is a place in Nordic mythology. <laughs> What's the significance of Niflheim? I don't know. Okay. You brought it up. Sure. Alrighty. Uh, I believe you all are still in the sea old inn. What would you like to do? Sea and old inn. Sea uh -huh. old inn. I need to talk to my dad. That's all okay. I know. The dad is not alive. Okay. Or he isn't dead, rather. Indeed. Not yet. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> either you two want to do anything before we get to that, or... I'm trying to think of, like, immediate, uh, like, needs, and I, I'm, I must be blanking on something. I feel like I wanted to do something on this island, besides get kidnapped a fifth time. No, man, I, I don't, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't really need any specific items. I don't believe I had any items that I found in this town that were significant. I don't think there were any big boy NPCs other than that one guy who was working with the Hudegoyans who was, like, oddly, um, what would you call that? Someone who talks very, like, like, kind of like a Gus Fring type, who's, like, very, like, stiff upper lip, fucking doesn't, like, talk that much, very, like, uh, straight candid. edge candid sure yeah like just very like tight-lipped about everything that guy works with the hudegoyne so i don't think we can get too much info out of him uh, i think we all but confirmed that he was the one writing in the journal right or one of the hudegoyans was uh that the person writing the journal wasn't that the he bandit that attacked riku yaris yeah that was cute yeah. Oh. Hudegoyen. Okay. A different guy, then. No, he was the same guy. It's the same guy that you uh, okay. met. He just had a bandit captain stat block because it was the easiest for me to modify. Sure. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, with the journal wrapped up, I mean, unless we want to find where the second journal is for, like, two-way communication, which would be kind of cool, a little telephone, but, I mean, that's. I think that ship kind of sailed. But, um... Uh, you guys want to try to go get our fucking folded up boat out of the harbor? Or is that the wrong island? That is the wrong island. Damn. It's probably not there anymore. Probably not. I saw this video of a guy fucking, he took a giant like cow magnet and he th uh, put it on a big old fishing line, threw it through the, 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 the rivers of Venice and he found a giant brand new bicycle and the lady hit him up on Instagram. Oh my God. It's been in my family for 14 years. It was a birthday present, blah, blah, blah. It was pretty cool. 
I feel like that that's what would happen. I would I would end up towing up a bunch of other random shit long before I even come close to finding our boat. And the fact that the boat's not magnetic is uh, unfortunate. Indeed. Uh, Rog, you, where are you taking Sansak? I think you just picked him up and slung him over your shoulder. Yep. Where are you taking him? Somewhere private. Okay. Uh, you can take him, like, out back into an alleyway or something if you want. Mm -hmm. okay. That uh, works. You maneuver on back there, set him down wherever you feel like it. Mm-hmm. He's still tied up, still gagged, just stares at you. A weird look. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say he's pretty terrified. <laughs> he looks too tired to be terrified a little bit. Oh, hold on. Gotta. Uh, there we go. I had to plug in my headset. Anyway. Uh, let me get in character. Bleh. No problem. By the way, uh, Jackson, did you? Let me double check something. Okay, you did level up. <clears throat> oh, so, we finally meet. And I'm just gonna, like, take out the gag. Oh, you just take like, it out. Yank it out. Yank it out. He sort of looks at you. Uh, well, I think officially we did meet before you did show up at uh, the stage. I didn't really talk, though, did we? Nope. Honestly, I kind of wish it had stayed that way, given what's happened. <laughs> Ugh. So you're my daughter? That would be correct. Mmm. Mmm. You see, he looks away and just like stares at the nearby wall. Mmm. I'm going to assume that. A scoundrel like you means I have about, I don't know, 20 more siblings? At more least siblings. three. At least three. I know of three. Not including you. I'm trying to think of something to say. I, I don't know what these would sting more. <laughs> You're fine. So, he sort of patters his fingers. So were you like, were you looking for me or was this just an accident? Honestly. You were one of the main reasons I ever started sailing in the first place. I thought maybe one day, one day, I could look into the eyes of the bastard who left me behind. Me and my mother behind. Hmm. That's a pretty good story. Well, I'm glad I helped in some way. So that's that. I'm just proud of being another deadbeat on the street. I didn't know you existed in my defense. What do you what do you think I do? Hmm? What do you think do you think what? Like, sure, I sleep around a little bit, and then I leave. I'm a bard. I wander around. So what happened? I had no ill intent. Leaving you or your mother? Let me think of a word. 
There's a word I'm looking for. I just can't think of it. Sexual. No. No, that's the last word I would think of. I really hope she's not looking at her dad and going, Sexual. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's <just> weird. <laughs> Misogyny. Mm. That makes a bit more sense. <laughs> yeah, now that I know which uh, which vertical you're going. Uh, hey, Alexa. Uh, five letter word for uh, shitty bard. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Is it bitch? Uh, I, I, why do I feel like Eris would say that? Eris would cry at confrontation. What? Wow. You're so mean. Oh. What, are you going to cry about it? <laughs> no, I'm going to oh, beat you up. Where's Google? Bug turns around and opens a dictionary to start a uh, thesaurus. Yeah, thesaurus time, baby. Thalassophobic. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? My character has pretty bad thalassophobia, yeah. That's the fear. Why are you in a pirate kit? You've swam in the ocean multiple times. I times. have never been in the water without my safety blanket. Oh my god. Irresponsible. The word has to be most irresponsible. <laughs> All that for irresponsible? Riku be like, Ill. damn, couldn't think of irresponsible, huh? <laughs> Fucking grading term papers. Them trying to use, like, different words. Look, there's, like, a bajillion words in existence, okay? And I can only think of, I can only prepare 50 words a day, okay? They're like cantrips. That is funny. It's, you can prepare <laughs> infinite cantrips. Is, isn't cantrips, like... Aren't their whole thing that they're like kind of infinite? You can prepare a lot of cantrips. <laughs> is that because of her class specifically, or is that an in general no, kind of you thing? Can, you can just cast infinite cantrips. They're level zero spells. They cost nothing to cast. Well, according to the Trader's Guide Handbook, fucking Boy Scout guess, Bible, there's like I drop guess, a cum, mink fur, some feathers, a goo ball, what fucking. The fu cantrips don't require those. What the hell book have I been reading? I don't know. <laughs> and also, any of those costs can be offset by an arcane focus unless they specify a goal, unless they specify a monetary amount, or say the material is destroyed. That's that's with more traditional spells, right? Like level one spells and up have a monetary equivalent or an items yep, list. Some of them do. Okay. Can you think of any major big ones that are like, yeah, you need but to... The point of the story is, my head is small. You need a 300 gold diamond to cast Revivify. Revivify? That's a big word. What's that? It revives a dead person. That's a $5 word for fucking necromancy. It is under necromancy. Fuck yeah. Where, where are my arcane focused necromancy boys at? That does not count for... What do you mean that doesn't count? Because it has a monetary value, so the arcane focus won't work. That is the thing I specified. Yeah, okay. I, I guess I meant like our uh, necromancer subclass, right? Uh, what are you telling your dad? <laughs> uh, so you just another the responsible scoundrel that takes what he wants and leaves. That's it. That's all that's all that is to your story. Well that's not how I tell my story. Oh, thank you so much oh, for the follow, so Lily. How are you doing, boss? Embellish like a fisherman's got a funny ring to it. Do fisher are fishermen known for? Is that a thing they're like known for? That's why it's called a fisherman's tale. Uh, I thought they called them a wives' tales. I realize I'm third person Nami commentating, but <laughs> I'm not in the room. See, he sort of thinks for a moment. Yeah, I guess that mostly makes sense. You passed the skill check. <laughs> you you rolled. Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, everything's embellished a little bit. My star yeah. one for doing it myself. Yeah, like your lineage. Jackson, you're not there. Burn! <laughs> I burned his ass. Let it be known. Cosmic burn. No, you're just not there. Good interrupting a scene. Oh. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, what do you say again? Do you uh... He said, is that my fault? Uh, he said, oh. everybody embellishes stories. Is that my fault? Let me think of a response. Go for it. Be safe. Don't tie yourself to the rails. I already did. <gasps> that was a short train. Oh, there you go. A uh, bit of dishonesty doesn't hurt to here and there. Like well, thank you for the follow, buddy. I hope oh, you're having a good time. Been. So I guess in that aspect... I think the apple quite far fell from the tree. Oh, I will bring us back to this thing, but... I... I got a star crunch bar, so that works out. Hmm. Deal a blow to your old man, is that it? I heard things going pretty well before you and your friends showed up, showed up on this island. I mean, admittedly not great, had quite a few debts to settle, but I was working on that. Would have had all of them settled if you hadn't no. stepped in for some reason. Why did you interfere you're a fucking pirate what do you care oh i know why exactly i care it's called a paycheck dad i put the gag right back in who's paying you you stuff the gag in <laughs> you just start screaming around it very begrudgingly just settles back down just sinks into the pile of trash I'm assuming you left them on uh no I pick them back up okay <laughs> pull them out of the trash and just what do you do? Go back inside and put them back where he was <laughs> just to head back on the side mm -hmm. Eote just sort of like watches you with a very oh. tired look. Also, I bump his head on the uh, a door frame. He does shout very loudly. It's very high pitched. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna give him over to you all to here. Make sure you he's locked up. Yeah, you set Sandsack down on the chair next to Yota. Who just stares at him. I'm too tired to know what I'm gonna do with you. And Sandsack looks horrified at that. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? Um, sick accordion beat. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I just assume we're uh, we're still in the town square, at the very least, talking to you, but uh, you're in the tavern at the town square. Uh, is there any notable persons <laughs> in my proximity? Uh, there's Evota. You see, Envid is hiding in a corner, Hog. Uh, there's the tavern keeper, whose name I don't believe you've gotten. Uh, that's about it. Some people you recognize. We'll probably talk to Envid about this, uh, yes, and obviously Riku's character. True. 
probably go talk to Envid about this black swatch. I never brought that up to anybody, and that will become uh, notable in the future. You, you, I think you, you did mention it to people. Did I? Okay, well that's mm -hmm. good. Um, maybe I'll follow up with with Envid about it. Be like, hey, check this out. Is it, does this look bigger to you? You, you just walk on over to Envid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been about. 20 minutes since I've last seen her, I should probably say hi or something. Uh, you see, as you start walking over, she just goes, shit, 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 and like sinks deeper into her seat. Pretending like I don't see her, and I, oh, oh. Yeah. howdy. Just like try, try. She is like, like only her eyes are peeking up over the table. Like a At fucking. At this point, she slid <laughs> so far down. <laughs> the guy from Home Improvement, the neighbor. Yeah. What's his name, Wilson? I mean, you, you, you can still see her just, like, fully sunken, like, leg. Like, her entire lower body is just tucked under the table. Trying Fair. to look as small as possible. That's funny. You see, she looked at you. So, uh... So we, we, we weren't supposed to talk again. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> then why are you still here? I, I had a plan. My whole plan was, you know, I was gonna... Whew, I missed you stepped away from you. I was gonna find a boat somewhere and figure out where I'm going next. Uh, and then nobody wanted to leave the island for some reason. Well, I can tell you why. Um, are you feeling all right, by the way? I, were you not affected by the last 25, 30 minutes? Um, I'm, I'm feeling okay. Did you feel strange at all today? Uh, yeah, there's a few. There were a f few times I felt a little weird. Describe them. But what the fuck? What do you want? What do you want? I want you to fucking explain what what this what this thing on my SpongeBob. You're not gonna feel any better until you get this thing off your chest. And he fucking takes the the suckling cephalopod off his nip. I said what? That's a that's a curse, Mark. You're cursed. I'm not. No, I'm not cursed. Get you this off. Cur what do you mean? No, yeah, you're I, cursed. I'm not cursed. Get it off. I, no, you're you're fucking you fucking fucking freak. Either I'm gonna rub this off or I'm gonna take this off. You're not. I don't. Neither of those things are gonna happen. Knowing your skill set. Okay. Uh, I I go to grapple Envid to hold her in place. Okay. Uh, Just, make a make an athletics check. Sure. You got a big dog. Huh. <laughs> Bless you. Something about the Alright, she will make oh. a dexterity check. Let's go! Uh, she has a plus one. No way she has a plus one. Meets beats, are you she, fucking kidding me? Yeah. Speed. Damn you, Envid. You, okay, you want to describe how this one goes out then? Fucking just barely gets away. You go to grab her and you see she just fully she just fully ducks under the table and then scrambles out heading for the door. Recoil like a cat? Alright, I sprint after her then. Yeah, she can't skitter away that easily. Uh she can skitter away that easily. You see as you run out the door. Uh, it opens up and she casts Dimension Door to get her away. God <laughs> damn it! This can't keep happening. I, I gotta get like a, a lasso or something. Who's got that uh, locate object? Let's see if you can find Envid. She just heads into the magic door and disappears. What'd you say? It cut out a little bit. Good luck with the fucking turtle. <laughs> the fucking. God damn it. I definitely don't want to have to deal with the lion turtle within the next five sessions, I'll be honest. I, I'm I'm very tempted to not leave the island because of this, which will be a, a fucking campaign stopper. But I, if we don't leave the island, it'll catch up to you. True. If you don't mm -hmm. leave the island, it'll find me. But if I go in the wrong direction, then it'll find me like double quickly, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, but still, we don't know where it's at, so... Just don't just, die. Just, I don't I don't know what to do. I've I don't know about you guys. I haven't been cursed recently. I, I'm not sure what the process is for this. But like I've that mark on your chest says, says you have. 
Hmm. I'm not familiar with the cursing process, maybe I should say, and I don't know what to do with the current curse. And, uh, yeah, I, I like, a, who, who do I, I can't go to the doctor about this. There's not like a, a, a witch doctor to talk to, right? Like we're not, I feel like I'm in the wrong, uh, profession to try to look, get curses looked at. Let me talk to the tavern guy. Let me see if he knows. Uh, if you want, you can make an arcana check. Did we try that already? I, I mean, I'm willing to, but it's my- You my haven't made, uh, Eris made a arcana check on the, like, to look at the curse itself. This is more an arcana check to be like, hmm, well, I have the curse. What do I do about it? Sure, okay. And I guess from, like, a technical perspective, what is gleaned from an arcana information with that? Like, like... I realize you'd properties what, of you you'd learn uh potential ways to remove curse. Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. I guess it makes sense. It's like bacteria like property. Like you can you can figure out Yeah, okay. Well, I don't expect this one to go well. Uh there's a couple of different ways you can remove curses. Uh you know, a lot of clerics know how to remove curses. Okay. Uh, powerful magic. There are certain powerful magics or items that can remove curses. Gotcha. Uh, this is the main. This is the most, like most accessible ways, you know. Uh, is there a cleric in this island section? Evota. No oh, shit. Oh, uh, have fun. Is Evo Seth still in the bar? Yep. I, uh, I fucking... <laughs> I, 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 I slowly approach Evo Seth from the front, because like a horse, you don't want to spook her. Uh, I... Hey! Question. What's up? Uh, what is Evolta doing? Uh, you see, actually, as, you see as Morphin gets up, and I'm assuming the two of you are the two of you sit down at the table with her, or what are you doing? Oh, she's at a table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be at the table too. I, I just want to make sure. That's okay, Eris, what are you I doing? I am playing a sick tune on my accordion. Up on the stage. Yep. Okay, make a performance check for me. Ah, twenty six. Holy shit! Way better than your <laughs> double one. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's, it's, a, um, it's a pretty jam and beat. Jam. Jam and beat. Uh, you see as you you see as Morphin and Eris both get up and leave. Evotesto sits there for a moment, and then turns to look at you. So are you like, are you the leader? Are you the head? No. You are not there. <laughs> not by the stage. No. <laughs> I think the right throat you're looking for is probably the most responsible. Uh, is that different from Lee? I don't need to know. Look, we all technically are... It's more like a council system, but I'm... At this point, you're one. gonna need counseling. Whatever, whatever works for you guys. Look, here's the deal. I appreciate what you all did today. I want to... Uh, what's the word? I appreciate what you all did. I think you deserve a reward. However, half of my town is on fire. And so I cannot afford to give you any money. Fair. Instead, what I'm gonna do... You see, she... Uh, reaches back and places a small golden comp. Let me double check. Hold on. Double check the items. I a golden compass, dude. Puts a small gold compass and a ornamental pistol on the table and then slides them over to you. We took that. 
off some guy who we found robbing a house. He is now very much dead. <laughs> Where'd you put the body? Um, you are not there. <laughs> they are yours as a thank you. Just and nicely. Alright. Um, I have added those magic items to your journal. You should see them. The balloon blaster. The balloon blaster. This item has five charges. While holding this object, you may spend one charge to cast the ob locate object spell from it. The item gains 1d4 plus one charges daily at dawn. Pistols at dawn. That's funny. Uh, plus one pistol, blah, 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 uses gold coins instead of bullets. A coin can be loaded into the pistol through a chamber at the top. Pistol magically transforms any inserted gold conix into a bullet. Ooh. You can also load the pistol with a platinum coin in place of a gold coin. Doing so results in a plus five bonus to your attack roll and an additional 1d10 damage. May load to load two platinum coins in the pistol per day. If you attempt to load a third platinum coin, the pistol will malfunction. Now, when the pistol malfunctions, I'm, I'm gonna assume the gold coins will still work after, it's just the platinum yes. is overloads it and you're um, not able it, to. So, so it will suffer a misfire and you will have to make a tinker tool DC. I'll have to look up what the misfire rules are. You have to make a tinker's tool check to get the gun to work again. Sounds annoying. And that's guaranteed misfire, right? Like there's not a chance that a third one will work. Yes. Hmm. So who wants to try it out with a platinum coin, huh? We don't have a platinum coin. Yeah, I don't either. It's expensive, but I, damn. I have like five gold to my name. <laughs> Me too. I have a lot more than that. Oh wait, no, it's 47 gold, never mind. I forgot we looted a uh, sand, uh, sand sack. I have 47 gold to my name. <laughs> Very cool. You can start a little trust, trust fund for that. I guess I'll be taking the blaster. Now I look at it, I might be taking both of them. Because I know Eris has the crossbow, and then Morphin has the coral longbow. I did also forget uh, Sandsack has a plus one rapier on him that you all would have taken. Ooh. Plus one rapier. Uh -huh. well, I have I a rapier. That. I was gonna say, uh, Eris probably would be be best in using it. Yeah, that's what I was say. Uh, well, rapiers do count as finesse weapons, which means they do work with sneak attack. Yo. Oh. I mean, I do have a rapier, so like, I don't need a plus one rapier. It's a, plus, a plus one, it's better. It'll hit sure. better. It'll hit harder. Take it. Do Do you want my rapier then? It also, oh, I have it ha one. It has. <laughs> what? It has other magics to it. I just haven't sorted it out yet. Sure. Oh, what kind of magic? Um, yeah. It's more spells. It can fly. I need to figure out the specifics of how that will work. Has Sansek used it in combat yet up to this point? Nope. Nobody was close enough for him that, to use it. That sucks. Is it like a dancing with a pier, like a dancing weapon? Yes. There's another, there's another little thing to it that I need to work out the kinks on. Yeah. Well, if Eris can fly and she already has a rapier, then I, I guess I'll take the plus one bad boy because I do frequently use a rapier in combat. Okay, go ahead, go ahead and add a just dancing sword to your inventory. I got you. I will get back to that. Uh, Later, once I figure out how to word this bullshit. Dancing sword. Okay, how do I? You uh, actually just you could probably just add a plus one rapier for now, and then at figure it out later. We'll figure it out later. It doesn't matter right now. Okay. 
I'll just put it in, like just in text for the moment. You you should be able to just drag a plus one rapier onto your character sheet if you look it up in the compendium. Sure, yeah. I, that's where I found the, the dancing sword, so yeah, I'll, I'll get on that. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, grab my bad boy's stuff. Compass, Howdy, alien. How you doing, big dog? Uh, she slides those over to you. These are a thank you. Can't give you money. But thanks. I do appreciate what you did. I would also appreciate it if you could tell the bird to stop flying. It's just it looks at her and says no. Oh, it's kind of her whole thing. Like telling a fish not to swim. You see, she slowly. Don't remind me about my you. fish. <laughs> so, here's, so here's the thing about that: is actually it's not. Actually, it's it is. Actually, it's it is. It is. It is. It is. It is a non-sentient being that needs to swim to live. Oh, did you can stop. Did Morphin hear that? Fish that are non-sentient beings. <laughs> I don't. So I don't have context for that. Don't, don't even look me. at me. You're an evil cleric. Oh. Uh, what time? What? Is it like it's noon? noon. Oh, it's like noon, yeah. Yeah, because we struck in the morning, so. Uh, Do the dragon thing. What? Just like, uh, what dragon thing? We got thing? what we came for. We got the loot. Uh, hey, Evota. That are just going, or Iris check up on the family. Hello. Today is been Twiff of Hot, Twiff of Hot. I'd be okay with checking up on it. <gasps> mm, but yes, Evolta, it has been a pleasure. Probably don't think the same. And I'm gonna take my leave. Uh, she waves as you all head up. Can I ask about the? Oh yeah, do you want to ask about that? I do. Ask okay. about what? The the black blemish from the curse mark on my chest. So you approach oh, Eva Chan and do what? Yes, I do. Hey, Eva <laughs> Why did you. Yeah, what's up? I'm cursed. Can you speak in, like, an actual sentence? That, uh. That person who skittered out of the, the room, I don't, know, I don't know if you clocked that. But um, she she cursed me, so now I gotta <sighs> I gotta deal with that. Is there an and? Sorry, is there an and to that? And you're the only person I know who can help me right now. This is she pauses for a moment. Yeah, so I would help you. I am. Fresh out of magic for the day. I can't. Hmm. Is there like a potion or like a food or like a nap or how, how does. So do you know what the curse is? Not really. I know what it's gonna do. I don't have specifics on like what it what it what it is. No. And what is it gonna do? Well, uh, a, a a giant um dragon turtle is going to ultimately be approaching my location until it finds me and 
tries to uh, kill me. You see, she sort of. I've had it for three slowly, days. She sort of slowly closes her eyes and then slowly opens them. Sorry, you have a beacon to a oh. dragon turtle on your chest. Is that what they're called? And that has been here, and that has been on you the entire time you've been on my island. Half the time. Ever since I found her. Well, I, I, she's not here anymore, but trust me, she, she gave it to me. Okay. I appreciate all of you. You gotta go. I, I don't, I don't know you, what to do. Nope. This is a town with a bunch of fishermen. My men were just heavily damaged. If you are attracting a dragon turtle here, we do not have the defenses for that. Well, do you think I have the defense? What, what do I do about this? I can't help you. <laughs> what kind of fucking... Can't do anything. I... Not right now. I know... You see, she sort of pinches the bridge of her forehead. All right. There's a cleric friend of mine. How good on friends. The we sorry. We are we're friends. Okay. They live in a town on the coast. No, they don't. They live. Okay, no, they won't help you. Oh, okay. She she All right. Puts her Foggers. To her Appreciate it. Ah, oh, God, <laughs> fucking. Oh my God. We. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. What's the name of your boat? The... Didn't we call it the Maidenless? I... I don't remember what the name of our boat is called. <laughs> Either. The Maidenless Voyage. We'll, we'll, we'll call it the, the, the name pending for now. I... I... I I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, um, we don't. We're not. We were. You, no. No. Nope. We don't have a name for our boat. We're not that kind okay. of. Okay. Yeah. We're not that okay. organized. You're not that guy, <laughs> okay. pal. I keep okay. suggesting them, but they don't take it. Oh, I, I just. There, I don't know. There, There's. I know someone living on the island. You can get a message to anybody. I will tell them your name and tomorrow. Once my mojo is back, fuck yeah! Is that a I can, technical term? I can I can make a I can make a scroll that will, sh will allow you to remove the curse. I can have them send it to your boat. So that's not something that gets done in house. I have to do that. You have to go. I have to pee. You can do so off your boat. I, Get off my island. I'm scared. I, are, I, I don't want to go. You are endangering me like, and this town. Go. I, uh, this is like when you tell somebody that they're now suddenly irradiated and they will explode in 20 minutes. Like, what? What? How do you expect no, me to? I'm not going to. I don't know what irradiated means. It's like, uh, well, you're a cleric. It's like when someone gets, like, necro-spelled or whatever that's called. Like the, ooh, Necros you're gonna blow up and die. Ooh, fucking poison. Like, aether poison. Whatever the fuck. I don't know. Let's just leave clue. You see, she leans over towards Rock. Is he actually cursed or is he just crazy? You wanna see it? Oh. What? Do you wanna see the beacon? See his third nipple? I really don't like the way this conversation is going. It's not on my ass. Why did you specify that? Well, you seem <laughs> like you're fucking, you're about to pepper spray me. So I, here, you I'll gotta show you what the- wipe, You gotta wipe perv off your forehead. <laughs> so that, what if I told you that forehead. was the beacon? 
I... That sucks. Doesn't it? You see Soro leans over. It's totally not. It's totally... I did that. When did you get here? I've been here the whole time. I was just being quiet. I, I gotta put a bell on you or things. something, you motherfucker. Don't take my stuff. Don't you put no fucking... You're not putting any fucking bell on me, old man. I'm gonna show you what this perv forehead can do. Fucking back away from my belongings. Get a heart attack. I'm <laughs> gonna... And then I pull I pull up my left sleeve. Oh, wait, no, that's that's just my sick ink. That's not the tattoo. Uh, and I fucking... I, I pull out my... my you know, I, 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 I do the Superman, you know, spread the shirt in half. There's where the heart attack's gonna happen. Huh? Segway? Uh huh? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, you guys have you guys have to go. I I don't want to go under the water. I am very sorry for that. You gotta go. What happens if I don't go? Uh, you die. Let's go. Can I go like up the mainland? Like, can I just go get on a Hudagoyan ship and just go like inland more? You gotta go down the river. You can no. do that elsewhere. If that's on. That's what you want to do. All right. Well, I'm gonna fucking call you Stonewall now because you're not helping me. <laughs> Stonewall. Fine. I'll go to my ship. But if I don't see a scroll I'll at like ship. 8 a.m. tomorrow, like sharp, like as soon as that light hits the fucking earth, I I want that there. Because if it's not there tomorrow morning, I'm gonna march my ass back to your guard quarters. I'm gonna lock myself in that cage, and then you're gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so let's be super clear. Two things. First of all, scrolls take a bit of time. Probably not gonna be done until the afternoon. Second of all, if you land on this fucking island ever again with that mark on your chest, I will I will kill you on sight. Can't you just kill the beacon? Like I feel like you're 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 skipping a couple steps. I don't have that ready right now it will be ready tomorrow if you so if you show up actively endanger my people you are a threat i will kill you <sighs> end of discussion goodbye who's that person you want me to go to and you don't need to go to anybody fuck yeah just... you gonna eat that wrap up our business. I just walk away, Morphin's hand reaching for the food. And just... Please? I get really hungry when I'm scared and cursed. Curses are a, a thirsty word. You should know of all people. Fuck yeah! Let's go, dude! What kind of sandwich? Oh, oh there's mustard on it! Oh, oh. What's wrong with mustard? The mustard fucking sucks! Hot, gross... Eris. You. you say on the way out of the tent. <laughs> I fucking I cry eating a sandwich with way too much fucking mustard on it. Let's wrap yes. up our business and leave. Evil Till likes mustard. That's canon. Evil Till likes there mustard. Is, <laughs> there, is, there is just truly an absurd amount of mustard. You are right. Why right. fucking? Even, it's, not even, it's, not even, it's not even like there's a lot of mustard. It's just like consolidated right at the edges. The bite I reason. took was particularly mustardy. <laughs> yeah. I like mustard too, okay? Yeah, I do too. I don't like a fucking gob's worth of mustard. Bleak. She's the kind of person who like did the... She did the glue around the outside of the paper, but she didn't smear it. It's just like four big ass nodes of mustard. Yeah. So you guys want to go to the boat, or do you want to do something else? Because ah, we got the day. Fucking beacon be damned. Well, we should probably go visit the Eris's, uh yep. family, your mother, and then... Your mother. Don't talk about my mother. Up shopping, and then we can leave. So you have yeah, shopping and a go pull up a cat catalog. Uh, so I don't believe you guys ever figured out where Eris's mom was staying. She's not in the tavern. 
She's not in the tavern. She's in a nest. What? <laughs> Your mother is a bird, um, yeah? Nest. That feels motivated. What are you saying? I'm, I'm gonna saying fly and go try to find them. Is it like salmon? Can you can you do you instinctively know where the nest is? <laughs> Come on, that's funny. <laughs> I heard a giggle. <laughs> We're in a bird's eye view. Oh, I get it. Because it's up high. Mm hmm. Wait, so does your mom prefer nests or lodges? I feel like you answering may conflict with Shen's canon. So it's kind of funny for you to answer your mother's preferences. I don't think she just carries around a nest with her. No, see, that's the cool nest. thing about nature is nest nests are everywhere. Nest. It's not necessarily a nest, but the necessary pieces of a nest are everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Question. What's up? Uh, what modifier does the, the balloon blaster work off of? Uh, dexterity. That's gotcha. What's the so compass? Eris, don't you have the ability to locate item? Isn't that yeah, a cantrip so you have? Yeah, so now I don't have to have that anymore. Oh, no, you're saying you could prepare... Spell. Oh. I could prepare something else. Wait, locate object? But yeah, yeah it's on the, the compass. Paste the compass. Test it out. Yeah, go on. Give it a, give it a shake. Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> the, locate, the locate object works on objects, not people. <laughs> I Yamada's have. necklace. I mean, yeah, I could like something that she would always wear. I knew me fucking trying to get her mother a necklace would work out eventually. <laughs> Land ho, right? Fucking all speed ahead to that, that thing on her neck. We'll, we'll, we'll just say you find it easily enough. No need to use any spell slots or anything. Um, you find, the, uh, they have, like, a few performers' tents set up sort of, like, on the edge of town where the island sort of starts to change into forest. Uh, they're all just set up. It looks like, actually, in the process of taking stuff down, it looks like, as you all approach. Um, I mean, Eris would probably feel like, uh, her... What she always used to do kicks in and she just starts helping them. You start, they don't even like, doesn't even, a lot of them don't even like process that you're not in the troop anymore as you start helping. And you just sort of end up merging into the crowd until eventually you see your mother like directing stuff, uh, who's, yeah, mostly just directing stuff, not super helping besides just like managing things. Finally, sort of clocks you, goes, Eris, what are you doing, sweetie? I was looking for you, and then my little bird brain was like, oh, hey, you need to help. So I was helping. Oh, well, that's that's so kind of you, sweetie. Come here, come here, give me a hug. She walks over, gives you a hug. Can I have a hug? Of course. But I'm a hug. Hug. Fuck yeah. Mom hug. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Don't don't get too close to the chest area. I got a, I got a rash. It's, so weird. it's like a weird third nipple. It's not. It's big. It's not like we're talking like in my okay. In my mind, I meant. I guess we've never established the size, but I imagine it's like in the original Naruto series when uh, Sasuke has the, the Rochimaru curse, like the five-point curse, where it's like a big old like yin-yang spiral or whatever. In your mind, it's a third nipple or like a mole? I feel like we should get clarification on how large this beacon black dot is. Uh, you see, actually, as Eris goes to, like, says that, you see her mom, like, slaps her hand. Eris! It's rude to point <laughs> things out about other people. Don't do that. Okay, though this one, this one, it's okay. Uh, mm. Give give it a little bit. You you'll understand. Mm. 
are you okay? You, nothing happened to y'all, did right? No, we're fine. We were here all day. We don't have any part in the play ever since that uh and you see she's like goes to say something and then stops and just sort of pauses for a moment. Since Sansac removed our slot in today's performances, we were we were here all day, so we figured we might as well start getting things set up. We saw there was a commotion. What uh, what happened? We beat the shit out of him. <laughs> okay, first of all, per, no, first of all, don't swear. We did, I'm though. a pirate, Mom. I can fucking yeah, well, swear. There we go again. You swore again. Don't do that. I thought of his head right. You can the you can be a pirate and you can be civil. The only thing civil is this cervix we, exam if I want to be a librarian. Into the ground. Okay, thank you. Who? Sansek. Oh. He's bad. He was bad. Mm, I got I got that impression. I got that impression. Well, good yeah, for you all. Well, 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 where are y'all going next? Uh, we have a performance on the mainland that we're going to be going towards. Ooh. Fun. Probably paths again. Mm, maybe. I sure hope we do. She reaches out and holds your hand. Oh. Eris is trying not to cry now. She's... <laughs> Man, it's it's hard being away from you. Um, oh, it's hard having you away, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> well, I wanted to check on you, um, and seeing as everything's good, uh, we're probably gonna have to go soon too. Um, I hope we do cross paths again very soon. Anything y'all want to do while you're Because I, I I just wanted to check on her. I'm going shopping. <laughs> going shopping? Look, I have 47 gold. Maybe I can buy some supplies. You got 47 gold? Mm-hmm. What'd you spend your money on? got all our stuff back, right? Yeah. I got my stuff. I think y'all got your stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the catalog. Oh. That's why. Like, hmm. Jin's strangely quiet. Oh, we're the DM. Oh, but his seat, though. His internet died. Alchemist shop. Can I get an alchemist shop? Well, I guess we, uh, we figure out what we want to do. And then when Shen gets back, if Shen gets back, we will, uh, we'll figure it out. What, what, um, what's on the shopping list? Have rations? What's our rations looking like? It's a good I've question. Well, I got five. I got a rock. Uh, my rations are. Hello. Howdy. I have eleven Hello. rations. We we're just talking about rations. Can hello? Us? hello? Can you hear us? Yeah, hello. Oh. My internet will be... I can tell. 
You're like, oh, you poopy on mic, Zay. Oh! Oh, shit! I hate you. Mm, it's factually, not my fault. Factually, it's not my, it's not my fault factually that you cannot incorrect. distinguish the sound between a water bottle and taking a shit. Mm, it's not my fault that you poop on mic. Uh, it's not my fault you turned your, uh... not my fault you turned your oval office into a real office and started pooping on my anyway what did i what what did you all hear last what happened last there is said something okay and i want to go shopping <laughs> i don't uh, want to go shop <laughs> what are you shopping for i have no fucking idea i'm looking at adventuring gear right now <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh man. Uh... Oh shit. Herbalism kit. Oh, I might get a herbalism kit. Why you roll that? What's up? Why you roll that? Why are you rolling? Yeah, what is that? I see you rolling. Making me nervous. Uh, let me see. Cooking utensils. Do we have cooking ut utensils? Yes, I remember we did a whole entire thing about trying to figure out if we had cooking utensils or not. Okay. It's good. on the ship. Do we, have, do we have a herbalism kit? Uh, I got navigator's tools and an entertainer's pack. Okay, I'll buy a herbalism kit for five gold. Sure. Uh, Morphin. Howdy. Uh, as you guys are walking through town, you're the first to notice it. You're just sort of like scanning around the crowd. Uh, Sorrel is following along with you guys, but I was sort of like staying on the wing. As you're looking around, you look over to him and you see he's just sort of counting coins. Where'd you get those? See, he looked up to you. Uh, had him. Always had him. In mind. That's a lie. I don't remember the last time I counted my own possessions so longingly. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure you don't remember a lot of things, old man. You want to know how old I am? You, you want to like... you want to have this dialogue? I never went to school, so I doubt I'll know that that high of a number. <laughs> Give me that gold. No. Yes. No. Hand it over, I call Eva to... He books it. What do you mean he books it? I run after him. Alright, you do have matching speed. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Yeah, but you I have fucking... You get to walk the docks. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think if I can use a skill like, like fancy footwork or cunning action, but that's not really how it works. Fine, I just keep up with him. Oh, just fucking run for the dock with him. Right. What, what do you think the gap is? Five, ten feet? Uh, probably like a good thirty. Oh, cause he hit, he hoofed it first. Yeah, cause he hoofed it first. Damn it! All right. Give me that uh, fucking the gold. Of, the two of them are booking it back to the ship. What are you two doing? Uh, I'm, I'm still shopping. We'll, we'll just be shopping for a bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy. We'll let the boys be boys. Jump. Yeah. Fine. They'll be fine. They don't yes. kill each other. Okay, I'm gonna ask again because I forget every time. Is Sorrel a girl or a guy or somewhere Sorrel in between? Is a guy. Okay. Is a guy. I don't know why I thought uh, Sorrel was a girl originally. You see, uh, Sorrel books it back to your ship and then gets back up, gets up on the deck and maneuvers over to the front of the bow. He just like takes a wide stance. 
What do you mean wire <laughs> stand? What is he fucking <laughs> he posting up? Yeah, he just takes a wire stand to the front of the ship, like trying to keep enough distance that he can move past you if need be. But he does the also, the like, left and right of the table while I'm on the other side yeah. maneuver. Like one. <laughs> yeah. He does that around the uh the anchor mast. Damn it. Now here's what's gonna That's happen. Fucking you're gonna, gold old man. You're gonna hand me that gold, or we're gonna fucking sit here all day, and Eva is gonna pit, get pissed off that we haven't left. No, we're fucking not. You're not my dad. He's in jail. Nah. We're not leaving this ship off this dock until you give me that gold. Why? Because Evita wants us to leave, and I want that gold. So if you want to go, you you're gonna give me that gold. Because do you, you want the gold. Because you keep pissing me off, and it's clearly not yours. So why do you want it? I still get it. Don't. I want it because it's mine. It's not yours. It is mine. If it's not mine, then why do I have it? I'll Rochambeau you for it. What sort of stupid old person thing is that? Not everything I do is old, okay? What is it? Rochambeau is where we take turns, uh... Well, there's two ways that it can be played. One is a physical way, one is more of a, like a game of chance way. Okay. Which one do you want to do? I want to keep my gold. Well, you're going to pick one or I'm going to fucking come over there and take the gold. You can't, you can't fucking catch me. We're on a boat now, boy. I can do whatever I fucking want. So he thinks for a very long moment. I do still get to shoot you once. Sure. You're going to pick the physical or the Game of Chance one, though. Why can't I just keep my money? It's not your money. It, it, it's more my money than your money. See that? He, he admits it. He stole it. We're not there. No. <laughs> thief. Dirty, no. rotten thief. You're a no. fucking, you're a liar and a cheat. No. -uh. Yes, sir. I saws no. it. I clocked that fucking stolen gold the moment you were you've rifling been, through it. You've been in jail more times than me. If anything, you're probably the thief. You probably stole this and put it in my hands. Well, then if that's the case, I can easily relieve you of the burden of having it. No, I want it. Oh, you want it now. You're going to squander it's my gift mine. just like that. Mm. It's mine. Yours. You suck. Hmm. You know who else sucks? Evota. What? He knows <laughs> what you're doing. Why do you keep bringing her up, man? Because I'm going to fucking march back in there and we're all going to go down. I saw what happened. She, if you march back in there, she'll kill you. Yeah, and then you'll never get to shoot me. Shit. I do really want to shoot you. Hand it over. I could shoot you on the way you're walking over there. Okay. Then what? She thinks for a long moment. Then books it. <laughs> Fine. I go fishing while I fucking wait for everyone to be done. You just have... start fishing? All yes, right. sir. I said I was going to the bank. I didn't say which bank. Okay. Podcasting? I'd rather be rodcasting. Alright, Eris, Eris and Rog, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna scoop up a healer's kit. I also yeah. scooped up a healer's kit. Awkward. Oh. Well, now one of us has to change. Well, we, no, we get two healer's kits. I mean, yeah. two is better than none. Yeah, I got oil, I got caltrops, I got perfume. Ooh, perfume? What are you using that for? Hmm? Someone you're gonna wow? Okay, you, huh? you, got, you never know. Never know. Like, around the season. Would you recommend I buy anything? I guess I don't have yeah. a frame of reference. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, go back over the list again. Oil? Mm-hmm. Healer kit? 
Mm -hmm. Caltrops. Uh huh. Perfume. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna be real. I don't know where you would find perfume on a fisherman island. Stinky, stinky fish cologne. So, I'm, so that, so for that, yeah, I'm gonna say make a roll a luck check, roll a d20 to see if it's actually good perfume or not. Okay. Put it's, twelve it's next. Put twelve next to perfume in your Damn. inventory. <laughs> Put 12 next to it. That's gonna like... come off again later. <laughs> Be ready. <laughs> they are, this is not a town of pleasant smells. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> like, why not? Uh, Eris, what are you buying? A healer's kit. Okay. Morphin, you mentioned that you wanted to buy something. I suppose I don't know what I would want to buy. I mean, the obvious thing would be either rations or items to assist in my class abilities. But as a thief, I suppose, other than lockpicks... I, I don't really have a frame of reference of what other skills my class excels in, you know? Uh, I, mean, I, besides, I am besides the magic items, it would just be lockpicks, would be probably what you find here. Sure. And I, I tell you guys, you're not going to find any magic items on this island. Oh, yeah. Right. At least not for sale. Too cool for that. Oh, you know what I could get? Uh, I, I could get like a big ass fishing net, right? We could get fishing components oh. for, for for feeding and eating and fishing. Question. You could get a drag net. Drag net. What is Eris wearing? Um, sexy mariner's armor. So I don't drown if I'm- Describe the sexy mariner's armor. What does it look like? Looks like leather armor that has a ocean motif. Ocean motif. Okay. I am thinking. Why are you looking like at me like that? <laughs> uh, but if you want to buy a net, that's something you can do. Fuck yeah. Nets mm -hmm. exist. That's right. Nets, nets exist. Uh, I thought about that while I was fishing. I do my best fishing in the shower. How uh, does so, mariner's armor work? Hold on. So technically, nets are actually a ranged weapon. Okay. True. Um, but I will say... So if you want to just take a normal net and drag it along your boat, that's fine. Um, a net was... costs one gold. Okay. So, what about like one of them deep nets with like weights and a and a long ass um, like rope? If for... you want to get a deep sea fishing net, how big is a deep sea fishing net? I guess it depends on how buy... long the rope is as well. Could I buy fine clothes for Andis? over the armor um i think i believe you guys have fine clothes don't you yeah like so 20 we sell those we sold those okay um i don't know about fine clothes well actually to be fair there are a bunch of pirates on this island who just got beat up And I would not put it past the populace that starts immediately selling their shit. <laughs> Deep discount. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. say fell off the truck I'm this morning. Make a make a luck check to see if you can find fine clothes. Rolling on a d20. Looking for I'm not seeing it. Oh, I was gonna say 15 or higher. So there you go. Yeah, you can find some fine clothes. Okay. Awesome. 
So am I crazy? Is the Mariner armor not the thing you threatened me with? No, that okay. The Mariner armor is the one that I forgot about whenever I went unconscious in the water and you lost the foldable boat trying to save me. Right. Um, I just floated back up to the top. So what's the one where it makes you sink and you can breathe underwater? I think that's your manta ray cloak. No, no, no. It's a, it's an item that Shen mentioned as like a divine punishment. It's supposed to be like pirates put this on somebody. Oh, yeah. It Anchor was, uh, armor. Yeah. Anchor armor is scary. Okay, so in terms of deep sea fishing net, I'm going to say that so the net you get as like a weapon is like a gladiator net. Uh, I'm going to imagine a deep sea fishing net is probably like three times the size of that. Okay. So I'm just going to triple with a price and say if you want to get a deep sea fishing net, it'll be free gold. Okay. And you can't use it as a weapon. Sure, that's fine. Utility based because of the sheer size. Get two of those. Two of those sounds good. In what, in case I lose one, I fucking throw it wrong and it just sinks? Okay, we might, like, lose a net, yeah. No, I'm, I'm on your side. I just hadn't considered yeah. me fucking it up first throw. Which is, is good foresight. Hmm. So, Can I get some insect repellent? The store of your dreams. There's just... That feels like a very leading comment. Like, whoa, hmm. You gonna spray it on me? I am gonna say no. Aww. You can use Zay's stinky perfume. That might be insect uh, <laughs> attractor. You just put it's it on like a mat. Bad. It can be. Perfume isn't that bad. Smell it. Not the worst. Smell it. What do you what do you want insect repellent for? I'm just thinking like we're gonna we're outside most of the time. If you want and... it as just a novelty thing for your character to have that will not have any mechanical effect on the game, yeah, you can have it. Not as like a fucking I make a molotov. Not as like a... <laughs> That is like a like future like if we go against insects kind of thing. Yes. Not as Never that. mind then. Never mind. The there truth comes go. out. She <laughs> admits it. You knew I was thinking of that. <laughs> Bugbear, beware. Ah. It's funny. Uh Kelly Sue, what? <laughs> Another one. Uh, sewing kit. Or... A tailor's kit. I can get a grappling hook on a tailor kit. I will say. Let me double check something. Because tailor's kit might be one of the things that Rog can just make. Oh, okay. It does take a whole day to make it, though. That's about it. Well, what is a tailor's kit? Is it literally just needle thread fabric? Um, you can create one set of artisan's tools. Tailor making would be artisan, so. They are not, apparently. Alchemist, brewers, calligraphy, carpenter, cartography, cobbler, cook, glass blower, jeweler, leather worker, mason, painter, pot, smith. Oh no, weaver. There it is. So yeah, uh, it is one of the things uh, Rod can make. Maybe if you want to buy your own, it is one gold. Bye, bye. And some, uh, just, just like 
bucket. Let's go like 20 yards of cloth, of random cloth. We'll just say you get that with the weaver's tools. Okay. Uh, as you all are shopping, you you don't notice it, but you see at one point Sorrel is just walking with you guys, and you're not sure when he got there. Give me that gold. You're not there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Level system intelligence. So Sorrel just like pops up. Yep. We're just like leaving a shop and just like Sorrel pops up like You're just walking through you're just like walking down the road and you turn around and he's just there. Just there. And you're not sure how long he's been there. How long have you been there? Hmm? A few minutes. I thought you're back at the boat. Uh I was. Now I'm here. Why? I don't like your other friend. I, I just look at look at Eris. I mean, you. If you want to hang out with us, you kind of have to tolerate as timeshare partners. I mean, he'd be helpful. He's he he can, do, he can fish, and get food. Meanwhile. <laughs> yeah, cuts over the morphin. Can't the catch net. shit in these fucking waters. I'm not a nibble all day. You damn fishermen fished them all up. It does like a Wrath of Khan dolly zoom out. Curse you! What's the name of the stone? Dead fish <laughs> wayward the bay. Curse you, wayward bay! As it zooms back out, we transition back to the marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> Good cinematic match yeah. cut. I'm just heading back right now, so... <sighs> okay. Welcome to the crew. You see, he pauses for a moment, and then thinks, yeah, I got nothing better going on, and then keeps walking with you guys. Uh, and you all head back to the boat. Ah. You see Morphin uh, struggling to catch fish. He was good at catching fish. <laughs> Morphin, you ready to go? I want a big net. I want a deep sea net. I'll say if you you could have bought one while you were at the docks if you want to just say you did that. Yes. Okay. I'll remove three gold. Oh, is this very nice? Six gold if you want to get two. Heard that. D uh, deep sea net. Two. Not twenty-one. Six gold. Hog, thank you, fisherman. He sees I'm not catching anything. You know, the good fish are deeper, deeper than a fishing rod. Is that is, is that even possible? Get out of here, you crazy old man! Pans over <laughs> cursed gold Jenkins. He just explodes. Cursed gold Jenkins. Yep. If only Sorrel was here as a fucking uh, as a as a, as a warning. What? Well, because, you know, he stole gold. Oh.
What are, you fool, what are you fools doing? You guys want to ship out? I'm, I'm ready to go if y'all are ready to go. I am ready to go. I would say you do also have that uh, bell the guy gave you. Oh, okay. shit, yeah. Bell? The I bell. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. That's supposed to be like some metal bitch, right? Do we want to ring it? Who's metal bitch? Nettle catch. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't see why not. Nose goes. Uh, uh, I guess I'll ring it. And I just hand it over to, uh, Otis. <laughs> She's just gonna viciously ring it. <laughs> okay. Bring the uh, shit out okay. of it. It's a little, it's got a little wooden handle, bronze base, but there's no, uh, central, like, rod for it to ring off of. You take it in your hand, you start shaking it. Yes. Uh, no noise. No noise? No noise. I'm gonna keep shaking it, because there's gotta be, like, some sort of, like, psionic noise or something. Uh, uh. <laughs> that's my thought process, is that it is, Isn't it, like, like, the thing so small you can, like, hardly hear a sound? Are you, you're ringing it just on your boat? Yeah. Okay, uh, you just like, you just like fucking squat down and just start like hammering away at this thing with one hand. Uh, and you yeah. see after a moment, the uh, door leading to your the downstairs section of your ship just like creaks open. Uh, and the light comes out of it and you hear a voice. You only need to do it once. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Even even with my bird ears, I couldn't hear it. I apologize. Uh, that's where we'll end it. <laughs> no way, we got a fucking Scooby-Doo ship ghost now. That's funny. <laughs> Just fucking slammed the thing. Yeah, like a fucking dinner bell. Bringing that thing hard. combat but we did good mental combat mental mm -hmm. combat mental combat thinking my worst nemesis <laughs> I 
I gotta admit, I did not expect you to just fucking slam the bell. <laughs> that is so funny. You didn't expect me not to slam no. the bell. So, so what I imagined is like, oh, it's a yeah, it's a magic bell. It doesn't make any noise, but there's like a there's one like where nettle catch is that she can hear whenever the bell rings, and so it's just going ham. It's like when someone's fucking slamming the doorbell or like yeah, hitting the ring. <laughs> like, all right, all right, exactly all right, fuck. Right. Jesus Christ, I'm here. I'm at the door. What do you want that's so important? And it's never important. It's not, not even urgent. Never is. It never is. Half the time, it's a ding-dong ditch. Imagine someone rings a bell and fucking throws it in the water. Also, I like that story was just part of the crew now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna let him get away with fucking Damn. stealing that gold. It's mine. Is it yours? Do we even know who it is? It's mine. None of you saw who he stole it from. I want to weaponize his uh, gold generation. That's gonna be tough. Have fun. I'll just there fucking are sidekick rules. Let me go get them real quick. Let's just build a crew. Yeah, I guess the big thing we gotta worry about is combat. We could just them have like time. he could be like our spy or like our Shit. Mascot. Uh, well, there are mascot. Th there, there are sidekick archetypes, and one of them is thief. Mm -hmm. Like we go on an adventure, he goes into town. Voila. Have fun. Just don't get caught. Exactly. So Dungeon far. Master's cool. Getting a sight. I guess maybe we can have two of the staff. So besides the three of us, we have a parrot, a metal parrot at least, and an urchin beef. We have a crew of four and a quarter. Yeah. And the quarter is a uh, sorrel. No, the, qu the quarter would be my bird. Are you sure? Yeah. I feel like the bird's pretty important. Sounds like favoritism to me. I think the bird's really cool. I think you did a good job. On the bird. As you are a bird. Yeah, I might be a little impartial because bird, but I mean, because of this. And I'm as impartial to him because he's my brother. Understand. <laughs> but you, it's that bird is like it's your baby. You birthed it. You birth bird fit. Get it. I just blink. <laughs> Pretty good fun. fun. Just walk away and go into my workshop. Okay. Have fun. So, looking over these rules here, um, Sora will be an expert sidekick. Uh, he would start at level 5, same as the rest of you. Uh, the important things that you would need, that you would want to know, he has... At first level, he can take the help action as a bonus action. Uh, he can dash, disengage, or hide as a bonus action. 
doubles his skill proficiencies, uh, and he gets an ability score improvement. Cool. Oh, and apparently next level he can... Oh, that's interesting. Apparently he can use the help action from 30 feet away and can then deal an extra 2d6 damage to the next time, to the next target he hits. Sheesh. Alrighty. Maybe your brother is good. Shall have to find out in the future. Well, I'm gonna go sleep. Thanks for having. Uh, I will ask. How would you all like him to be run? Do you all want to have control of him, or would you rather I continue to have control over him? Personally, I think it's better if it's out of our hands. You don't have to answer now if you want to mull it over. Yeah, I want to mull it over. Okay. I will also say, so there are three specifications, there are three like classes for sidekicks. Uh, expert, spellcaster, and warrior. I don't think Sorrel might be able to become a spellcaster. He is an arcane trickster. But I think Warrior is out of his skill set. Fair enough. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with X I'm gonna stick with him being a level five expert for now. But yeah. if Thank you, you will, if it interests you, you'd have to get him a teacher. Yeah. Someone who can speak, which can be one of you. Uh, but if you want to give him spellcaster classes, I would allow him to multi class. I just I want him teach. as like an extra narrative tool or like an extra body on the ship. Fair enough. Cabin boy. Like, <laughs> still use him as a psychic, just, uh, you know, make it interesting. The floor. No, it's my hand. No. Oh, did you lie to me? Deceiver! Alright, I'm gonna pack this bad boy up. Alright. Make sure the session. I had a lot of fun. Yo, puppy. <laughs>